yes, the age of the social media influencer, where every photo is the perfect photo. But have you ever wondered, do these people just have a personal photographer following them around everywhere they go? Today, we are going to find out. I asked my personal professional photographer to go up against my boyfriend and his iPhone. I feel like I blew it. To see who can really get the better picture. Is it worth it spending money on a professional photographer or will the photos come out looking similar? Stay tuned to find out. What's up guys? It's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia oh, Taylor. Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it. Did you like that Friday music video, lyric video? Thank you so much for all of the support on my new single, Strong. Now available to stream worldwide across all platforms. Thank you for your support. I love you guys. But have you ever wondered, is it really worth it to have a professional photographer take photos of you when every single one of us has access to one of the best cameras in the world in our back pocket? That is what we are going to find out today. But first, thank you so much to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. All of the looks that you'll see me wearing are from The Real Real, the luxury consignment app. Make sure you click the link at the top of the description if you would like to try The Real Real out for yourself and get $25 off your first purchase. So here's how this little experiment is gonna go. I hired my personal photographer, Ali Amadeo, to do a photo shoot. The only catch is she's not gonna be the only one taking pictures. My boyfriend, Zach, will be using the brand new iPhone iPhone 11 to have a little photo shoot of his own. And once we've gotten the shots from both sides, we will compare them side by side and determine ultimately if you can be a social media influencer on a budget, baby. <laughs> Congratulations to this week's Instagram teacup shout out. Closet for NT. This is absolutely one of my favorite Instagram pages, you guys. They post all of my looks and styles and where I get them from. I swear they work for the FBI because they know literally everything. But if you're interested in my style, definitely follow them because they'll give you all of the hookups on where I get my stuff. So I've laid out the challenge like this. There are three different types of photos that I often see influencers posting. Movement, perspective, and golden hour. So with Allie and Zach ready to get their picture on, we headed out to our first location. So we're gonna get started with my photographer, Allie, and see if she can capture the perfect movement shot. Now this first look from The Real Real was absolutely perfect for trying to capture a movement shot. Because of the flowiness of this Tanya Taylor skirt, I knew it was going to look beautiful. Now, if you guys remember, I did a video a while ago on how to pose for photos the right way, even if you're not a model. And one of the most important things that I mentioned in that video was adding movement to a photo and how it can just make it come alive. But as we got started with my photographer, Allie, I could immediately tell that she knew what she was doing. How's that movement? The movement is moving. It didn't take very long of me spinning in circles for Allie to tell me she got the shot. Oh, those are good. And I was pleasantly surprised that nowhere during my session with Allie did I have to instruct her on what to do. Now with Zach, on the other hand, <laughs> it was a little bit of a different story. Oh no, you're gonna hit the cactus. Please be careful, do not fall into the cactus. Because my boyfriend hasn't taken any professional classes on photography, he required a little bit more instruction from me. Um, that's, so that's I mean, your that's face it. is a little weird in that's there. Interesting, for sure. I had to look at the photos a couple times and then tell him what to change and then have him go back and do a different angle. And I had a little less time to focus on what I was doing, but more what he was doing and if he was doing it right. <laughs> but it really didn't take that long for Zach to get a picture that he felt was the perfect shot. So we wrapped up our challenge number Number one, movement, and headed off to our next location. This photo category is perspective. Taking a photo from a unique angle, and it's able to give the picture a really interesting perspective, hence the name. The location I chose for this challenge is the Palm Springs Dinosaurs. They're pretty big, and in order to fit them all in a picture, you have to get a very low perspective. So we went ahead and got started. This outfit is also from The Real Real. 
They are a luxury consignment website and app where you can buy and sell unique luxury pieces. The Real Real has a team of experts that authenticate every single thing, so that way you don't have to worry. When you shop, you know it's real. There are three different ways you can sell items on the Real Real. They have virtual consignment appointments where you can schedule a video chat one on one with one of their luxury managers. The second, you can also ship your item to them directly for authentication. And the third way is by using their curbside drop off at one of their Real Real locations. It's a super convenient way to make a little extra money if you're like me and you're constantly going through new things in your closet. If you guys are interested in shopping or consigning, click the link at the top of the description once again, and you can get $25 off your first purchase. But once again, as soon as we got to the dinosaurs, Allie immediately got to work and wasted no time. Because she is more of a professional photographer, she understands the concept of perspective and angles. And at one point, she even gave me a little bit of instruction to move my arm a certain way to fill in the blanks of the photo. I could definitely tell she knew what she was doing. Then. On the other hand, as soon as Zach got to work with the iPhone, I could tell now he was just copying whatever Ali was doing. He really went all in and didn't really give me any feedback. Like he didn't tell me where my arms should go. He didn't say if it was looking good or not. I was kind of left guessing. And once again, I had to check his photos before we could conclude to make sure they were good enough. Yeah, we definitely have a different style going on with this <laughs> shot. That was awesome, honey. Thank all you. All right, I feel like I blew it. I don't wanna say it was a less enjoyable experience, but there were some technical difficulties, okay? But now that we have our perspective shot, we moved on to the third and final location for Golden Hour. So we can really see who's capable of showcasing the golden landscape and the golden Natalia. Now, as we trekked out into the windmills, it was definitely windy. I was about to blow away. Now, Allie knew that we weren't expecting this much wind. She really went with it and continued to give me feedback on how gorgeous the picture were looking while I was standing there feeling like an absolute queen. But as soon as it was Zach's turn to come up to the plate, he was having some technical difficulties. The wind was picking up dust and it was bothering Zach and it made it hard for him to focus on taking a photo of me. He was not having a good time even though he was really trying. So we wrapped everything up completely and I just assumed that whatever he had, it's probably good enough. And that concluded the entire shoot, the three separate challenges on who could get the better photo. My photographer or my boyfriend. Now is the time we have all been waiting for. The final images! We're gonna take a look at each one, put them side by side. The professional photographer versus my boyfriend's iPhone. First challenge was movement. Who could capture the perfect action shot of me spinning in my skirt? And here are the images. I have to say I expected this to go differently. <laughs> I at least thought we would have a decent image from Zach. I mean, it's not bad. It's uh, it's interesting. As you can clearly tell, the photo that Ali took of the movement shot is a lot cleaner, a lot crisper. She was able to fit the entire house into the frame and just overall a more professional looking image. I mean, are we surprised? Zach, what the heck? What is this? What do you what do you think of your uh, your image? Great. You think it's great? Yeah. You tried your best. I'm great. I'm good. Thank you. Moving on to location and challenge number two, perspective. And here are the final images. They're definitely different. <laughs> on the left, you can see Ali's shot was framed up perfectly. The lighting was casting a gorgeous shadow across my body. It almost looks like I'm blending in with my background. And then we look at Zach's. <laughs> this is just so funny to me that he took 23 photos for this challenge and this is the best we could come up with. This is actually a really interesting experiment for me because 99% of my pictures on my Instagram, believe it or not, are taken by Zach. So I'm wondering if like it was only Zach taking these pictures and Allie wasn't even there, if I would find these amazing because I had nothing else to compare it to. <laughs> Although I think both pictures are very unique, it's obvious who's the winner. Once again, Allie the photographer takes home the prize for the perspective challenge. I love this photo. I love the background, the dinosaurs. I love the outfit with the animal print. It feels so Flintstones to me. Moving on to the third and final challenge, golden hour. So here are the results. Oh wow! 
wow, okay. This is so interesting because both photos are pretty strong in my opinion. They look great, but looking at them, they're definitely two completely different style of photo. With the picture that Ali took on her camera, this looks like something that would be in a magazine. I love the way that she made the skirt look like it was flowing in the wind. I love how everything looks super golden and lit up for that perfect golden hour shot. And overall, it's a really good picture. But I think I have to give Zach a little bit of credit on this one as well. I like this iPhone shot. I would post this on my Instagram. And I think it's pretty interesting how Zach decided to get a different angle than Allie this time. Like she got a nice side profile with the mountains in the back, but Zach decided to get more of a straight on angle, showing off my outfit instead. And both of them, in my opinion, are great. And this is funny because I kind of figured in this video this would happen at least once where I liked both photos, but they're so different and they can't even really be compared because of the different styles. A pro photo and an iPhone photo can both look amazing and they can both fit really well on your Instagram. It's just a completely different style. One of them looking like a magazine and the other one looking more candid. So I have to say it, for the final challenge of golden hour, who could get the better shot? I think this one's a tie. Both of them are gorgeous, just in two completely different ways. And I think that's probably what I've learned from this challenge, you guys, is that you don't need a professional photographer to follow you around everywhere to get amazing photos for your Instagram. Although you'll always get your money's worth just because they know what they're doing and the experience is more fun for you versus when you have your boyfriend do it, you just have to give them a little more instruction. It takes a little more work on your end and maybe some patience from them since you have to ask them to retake the picture again and again, but both will work and both will produce a decent photo, just two completely separate styles, depending on what you're looking for. So I think to answer the question, photographer versus boyfriend with an iPhone, don't eat me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's a tie. It's a complete tie for me, simply because I don't think I always need a professional photographer to get a good picture of me living my normal life. If I'm going somewhere really cool, or if I'm doing something for a special occasion, I would definitely hire a professional photographer because I wanna be able to focus on what I'm doing in that moment versus worrying about Zach and the angle that he's getting on the iPhone. But I know if I have the time and the patience, he can achieve the exact same quality just in a different way and and for free. It just takes a little extra time. Thank you so much to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. I love these looks so much. If you guys wanna shop luxury consignment, again, click the link at the top of the description and you can get $25 off your first purchase. But comment down below, who do you think won this challenge? My photographer, Ali, or my boyfriend, Zach? Also, how do you take your pictures? On a camera or on an iPhone? And which one do you like better? All of these pictures are on my Instagram if you wanna go see them again. And you can also comment whether you think your favorite influencers use a professional photographer or their iPhone. I can't tell half the time, but this experiment definitely cleared things up for me and what I'm gonna use in the future. And I hope you loved it. For more videos like this, I will leave a photo shoot challenge playlist right here so you can entertain yourself for hours. I will also leave my how to pose for photos video right here so you can brush up on your posing skills. But thank you guys so much again for watching. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed. But most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Snap, snap. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.